Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Clark. Heather's behind the camera today. We've got a great video to share with you today. We have wanted a beach cart for years that had air-filled balloon tires just because it rolls on the beach so much more. But they've been over $300 and we just haven't felt like spending the money on it. People we've talked to at the beach who have them, love them. So we've been looking for one. Finally found one online for $125. Uh, today we're going to unbox it, show you how to assemble it, and do a review. And we're going to take it down to Clearwater Beach and roll it in the sand and show you the difference. Stay with us. All right, let's open it up. See what's inside. Ooh, lots of stuff. Check this out. Styrofoam block. Won't be needing that. This is a special sauce here. These apparently are the wheels. Pretty good size. A little bit of mass to them, which is nice. Two of those. We'll unwrap these in a second. Of course, the pump comes with it. Got to pump them up. Some of the reviews said keep this with you when you're at the beach. Sometimes the tires need additional air. So definitely hold on to that. Some assorted, uh, there's, oh, these are the tie down straps, which the reviews have been mixed on these. They're, they're fixed, they're, they're not flexible. Some people have preferred bungee cords, so we'll see how that goes. We'll give that a shot at the beach. Here's the net for the back where all your goodies go in. Put that there. And the good stuff is this is the back frame here, right? More plastic on it, more cardboard. Don't need that. And then here is the rest of it. This is the back handle area with an additional uh, piece in here somewhere for the cross beam. And I think that's it. So there's some directions here, which probably aren't great, but uh, we'll, we'll see how these go. So cut that off in a second. Fun part, throwing the wheels up. They're blocky now. Or the wheel. So we're ready to start putting it together. So they give you this 10 millimeter wrench here in the kit, and I gotta use this. We're gonna use my own 10 millimeter socket set, make things go a little faster. Okay, in the bottom of the box we found is the gauge for the tire. We're getting ready to blow this up. Don't throw this away, you'll need this because this is the size, 330 millimeters of how wide the tire is. So you don't want to get it bigger than that because you can blow the tire off. Okay, there's the ring. We can put a little more in it, but I think we're just going to leave it there let the rubber stretch out. Perfect. Okay, user error here. I was holding this and trying to pump here, like most bicycle pumps. It doesn't work that way. Hold it down here and the whole piece goes up and down. So, not a bicycle pump, don't hold it here. Pump here. 
Okay, time to put the wheels on. Make sure you put the valve stems on the outside so you can reinflate the tires as you need to. The wheels just slide on. There's a cotter pin here. Push the cotter pin through and then fold that over. Keep the pin in. Repeat on the other on the other side. Good morning. We are heading into Clearwater Beach, just outside of Tampa. We are going to be doing a final test run on our newly assembled balloon tire beach cart. So we're going to load up our old beach cart. We're going to do a little video of that so you get a great comparison about how much better a balloon tire works on all of this expansive sand. It's a really large beach, so you'll see that you really don't want to be dragging you know, 30 pounds of stuff. You want it to just glide over the beach. So this is going to be fun. We're super excited. And we're going to share it with you at the end. here at Clearwater Beach. It's already filling up. We have all of the items that we normally take to the beach. We have three chairs, sort of sport chairs, beach chair, fairly heavy cooler with some drinks, ice, you know, just a, uh, a beach bag, our very high-tech blanket here that we always, you know, use, our cool cabana, which we will never go to the beach without. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up all of these things into our old cart. And we're going to take a video of how this handles in the sand. And this is a great cart. This cart has been used for everything from moving into college and things like that, but it's not that great on the beach. So once we do that, we're gonna show you, and then we're gonna load up this baby right here, and we're gonna be able to show you how much better it is with the wheels that we have and how well it moves on the beach. So stay tuned. So you can see how heavy the cart's getting. Uh, I'm, so I'm taking you over now there. and see how we do. It's like somebody else dragging something through the sand. The wheels barely even turn. Give it a push. Heather and I are both gassed out from dragging this cart across the sand. You can see the track that it makes. You're really just dragging these, these rubber like an wheels in the sand. And it's a long way to go. So now we're going to switch, go back, load the other cart, and show you how much better that is. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, round two, pump, which is the only different thing that we're taking that we didn't take before. Zip this in nicely. All right, and then we're gonna open it up. We're gonna open these, give ourselves a handle. Whoop! <laughs> Note to self. There we go. All 
right. Let's see. Okay, so we've strapped this down. We think the bungees are going to be a little more secure for the heavier items, and we're going to take go ahead and take one quick bungee cord and go around and meet it in the middle, and we are ready to go. So let's give it a little tilt back. Whoa, it's heavy. Pretty heavy. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so I'm like holding it with barely one hand. Going over the bumps. Kind of, I'll show you getting up on that curb. No problem. Okay, final test. Okay, I'm holding on to it like three fingers. Okay, check out my um my tracks. They're flat. They're not digging into the sand. I can even like I can pop a wheelie. Easy turn. How much lighter is it, Heather? Donuts in the sand. Oh, it's excellent. It's really heavy to um, you definitely have to use your foot and pull it up and we oriented it so that the, all the weight most of the heavier weight is on the back on the tires but um, the only thing I'm gonna have to consider is something that zips because I don't have anything that's gonna fall out but if I had loose stuff it could fall out um, but the cooler is nice and stable it is a wider load because you know this is the first time we've loaded it and um, I think that this is exactly what we're gonna bring to the beach every time. So even though this is our first run, it worked really well. Um, but I don't know, we might find that we can, I can't imagine it being easier, but we might find a better way to load it once we get a little more familiar with it. So here we have it. I'm gonna kick the tires. It's working. This particular card is made in China and sold under various brands. Ours is sold by Vivor on Amazon, but it's also sold under the name Hit Grand as well as others. We'll put Amazon affiliate links in the show notes below. Using those links provides us with a small commission that supports our channel, and we would sure appreciate your support. We've been really pleased with this cart. We like it. We think you will too.